The electric vehicle is heating up again and this time appears to have more staying power. Yeah, Ford and General Motors have both recently announced major plans to expand their EV manufacturing and that includes the electric 2022 Hummer introduced yesterday by General Motors hailing it as a zero emission super truck. Business editor Rob Maloney is here with a look at how the changes might impact Motown even at that price, <laughs> Rod. Right. It's well, sweet, the, the, the price is the thing, right, Devin? I mean, the whole thing is that the electric vehicle is infinitely more expensive right now, but the prices are coming down. And so, yes, the electric vehicle is here to stay, but those vehicles we're driving now, well, they're not going the way of the buggy whip anytime soon. So General Motors is ready to give Hummer a new life as a rugged electric SUV. Cadillac will build its Lyric SUV in Spring Hill, Tennessee. Ford's ready with the Mach-E electric Mustang and the electrified F-150. Guidehouse Insights auto analyst Sam Abel Samid says there's one thing driving this push to the electric vehicle. What's driving this has been regulations globally, both here in the U.S. and uh, particularly, more particularly in Europe and China. Uh, and more, you know, and then just recently we had the announcement out of California. Sam also said the domestic three have 100 new electric vehicle offerings across the industry in the next five years, 300 coming worldwide. Volkswagen plans 75, GM has 20 coming by 2023, Ford is promising 14. And Abel Samid says though electric vehicles are likely to be commercial trucks, the Hummer 3 is going to help that along. It's not going to be a huge volume vehicle, but that platform it's built on, we can expect to see that utilized for you know some of the, the, the vehicles that are using the most energy in our uh, transportation ecosystem today. This, of course, will change manufacturing, considering it takes far fewer parts to make an electric vehicle. IHS global analyst Stephanie Brindley says it's not like the industry is going to flip a switch and a lot of jobs are going to disappear. Internal combustion engines aren't going anywhere anytime soon. It's going to be a mix for a long time. Now, one of the other things that are uh, good about uh, cars, these cars, the electric vehicles, once the price comes down, they've dropped the battery cost dramatically, um, is that the operating cost and the maintenance on an electric car is far less than what we're paying now. So they're still working on this, a lot of things to do. But what Stephanie told me was, and she put it so eloquently, that this is really just the first chapter in a very long book. Back to you. And Rod, you mentioned commercial trucks. Talk a little bit about why that area of the market is more likely to get vehicles first. Mm -hmm. Well, for whatever reason, and I still have to get the answer to that, the, uh, the, the electric vehicle uh, works better. The batteries are better in larger vehicles. So they're the, you're starting to see fleets really look at electric vehicles for like trucking and, and commercial trucking and the like because it's less expensive that yeah. way. So uh, it's likely that it will take hold there first and then work its way down to the street yeah. for the regular common driver. For so long, I think we assumed the opposite uh, was necessarily mm -hmm. true. Yeah, all right, Rod.